Welcome to pre-math. In this video, we have got this rectangle whose dimensions are 21 and 28, as you can see in this uh, diagram. And moreover, the green area is equal to the white area. And now we are going to calculate this uh, length x. And keep in your mind that the length of these green strips are same over here. Please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe. And here's our very first step. Let's go ahead and calculate the area of this uh, big rectangle. And now let's recall the area of a rectangle formula. Area equals to length times width. So therefore, the total area of this uh, big rectangle is going to be our length is 28 and width is 21. And if we multiply, we are going to get 500. And, 88. and we know that the green area and the white area in this rectangle are equally divided. Therefore, the green area is going to be the half of the total area of this big rectangle. So the green area is going to be the half of 588 or that's going to be equal to 290. Four. So thus our green area turns out to be a 294. And here's our next step. We know that this length is x. So therefore this length is going to be x. This length is going to be x. And this length is going to be x as well. And here's our next step. Let's go ahead and label these areas. I'm going to call this area compartment as an A. This one I'm going to call A sub 1. This is a sub 2, this one a sub 3, and this one a sub 4. Therefore, the horizontal green strip area, this one, is going to be, and we know that the length is, this one is 28, and the width is x so therefore horizontal area i'm going to call a of h is going to be we are going to use this formula our length is 28 times x so it's going to become 28 x and now let's go ahead and calculate the vertical green step area as you can see over here our length is 21 and our width is x so therefore our this area vertical area i'm going to call a sub v is going to be 21 x therefore our horizontal green area turns out to be 28 x and the vertical green area is 21 x and here's our next step. We know that this whole green area consists of these individual areas A, A sub 1, A sub 2, A sub 3, A sub 4. So let me go ahead and write down all these. I can write A plus A sub 1 plus A sub 2 plus A sub 3 plus A sub 4. Now let me go ahead and tweak this equation. I'm going to add and subtract A at the same time. Now let me go ahead and chunk these one. I'm going to write these one together. A plus A sub 1 plus A sub 2. And this next one A sub 3 plus A sub 4 plus A. As you can see in this uh, next step. And now we can see that this a plus a sub 1 plus a sub 2, this one is our vertical green strip area. And likewise, this one a sub 3 plus a sub 4 plus a, this is our horizontal green strip area. And now we know that our vertical green strip area is 21x. So I am going to replace this part by 21x and this uh, horizontal green strip area, this one, I am going to replace it by 28x. As you can see in this next step, 
and now let's focus on this a a is the area of uh, this uh, square in the middle its uh, dimensions are x and x so the area is going to be x time x is going to be simply x square so therefore the area a is going to be i'm going to just put down minus x square and we already figured out the green area is 294 so i'm going to replace 294 over here now let's go ahead and combine the like terms so 294 equals to 21x plus 28x is going to become 49 x minus x square let's move everything to the left hand side so we going to have x square minus 49 x plus 294 equal to 0 and now we can see that this is our quadratic equation and we are going to solve it by grouping and factoring so therefore i am going to tweak this negative 49x i can write negative 7x minus 42x and over here in the very first two terms we have x is in common so i can take that one out so we got x minus 7 likewise in this uh, second uh, two terms we have a uh, 42 in common so i can take that one out so we got x minus 7 equal to 0 and now we can see x minus 7 and x minus 7 is in common so i can factor them out i can say x minus 7 times x minus 42 equal to Zero, and now we can separate them. I can write x minus seven equal to zero, or x minus forty-two equal to zero as well. And here for this first equation, we're gonna have x equal to positive seven, and for this next equation, x is going to be positive forty. and now we can see x equal to 42 is not possible because of these dimensions so therefore we are going to reject this x equal to 42 and we are going to accept x equal to positive 7 so thus our length x turns out to be 7 units thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos bye